My name is Nikki Thurko, and this is my story. I did not grow up in a Christian home. I would probably characterize my growing up as maybe um, apathetic, maybe antagonistic towards the Christian faith. So I was always curious, but I really wasn't didn't have the opportunity to explore that. After college, was married, um, had a had one child, Ellie, um, who's now almost twenty. Um, had neighbors who were um, really involved in their church. He was a youth pastor, and they invited us to church. Um, and I heard the gospel, um, really heard it. I mean, I had heard of Jesus. I didn't know who he was, though, and what what importance he should be in my life. Um, at that point, gave my life to Christ, was baptized. Um, that was, I was in my early 30s, so that was probably about 16 years ago. Unfortunately, at, around that time, um, also experienced a separation and ultimately a divorce. Um, so I was a single parent probably from the age that my daughter was about three. Um, and so really felt a big burden to kind of um, kind of do things on my own, um, which is not always what the Christian faith is, is called to do. We had other friends who invited us to Village, and so that was 2014, I believe, and have been here ever since. Being at Village, I think there was a, there's a few very specific ways, um, I think, how me along my faith journey. One is the grounding in the reliance on God's word um, and the teaching verse by verse just awakened me to the importance of that, but also grew my knowledge of his word, which is, I think, ultimately how we grow um, and how we are we're supposed to live our lives. Um, Village became really, um, you know, family for me. Um, um, many years, uh, like I said, I was divorced. My daughter was young, so I was a single mom from the age that she was three, um, but I also didn't really have family um, that I was in contact with, and so Village became that family for me. About four years ago, I had a large vocational transition in my life, and it opened the door for me um, to just really see what God wanted for me next. And one of the things was I went on a couple short-term trips to Tenelian Bible Camp, um, which Village has a long-standing relationship of, of supporting and serving there. And I walked away after the first year in 2019 camp, couldn't wait to go back, and thought I would go back as many years as they would allow person my age to go back and be a camp counselor. I reached out last December, not knowing at all what God had in mind and talked to the executive director. And by the end of that conversation, he said, you know, we have an immediate need for a business manager. And he's like, was that something you would consider? So I did. And now I'm headed there full time. Uh, obviously we'll just spend over the last several months, about three months total in Alaska, serving there um, and just, Pretty excited with what God has to do. Um, there's a lot of details yet to work out. Uh, over this time, though, uh, when God, I've recognized when God brings verses to mind, or when I hear things in sermons or just conversations, that there's something to it. In Hebrews of chapter 11, just different verses, um, different pieces that kept coming to mind. That you know, it's by faith that we step out. The people that we look up to in the Old Testament, they all stepped out in faith, not knowing how it would work out and really not even seeing the fruit of what, what they stepped out in faith to do. And so that's what I'm doing. I, I, there's, like I said, a lot of details I don't know um, how they'll get worked out, uh, but I do feel that that's where I'm uh, being called and, and so I wanna, I wanna do that. I'm Nikki Thurko and that's my story.